Good morning. I'm back at school and I've had a great Thanksgiving break and I'm anxious to see the kids and I hope that they had a great Thanksgiving break also. We have just a few weeks here and then we'll be off for Christmas break and that's very exciting. And this season that is coming up now is probably my favorite season of the year. I love Christmas, but I didn't always. And I'll explain that in just a second. I'm a fairly jolly fellow. I like people and I like being around them and I try my best to enjoy human beings and be kind and follow the path that the Savior has laid out for us. I fail at that pretty often, but there was a time in my life when I pretty much failed at that all the time. I hated Christmas. I hated all the nonsense. I didn't really like people. I had a very, very hard heart. Now, I could get into the reasons for why that happened. I was raised by wonderful parents in a wonderful Christian home, but I made some missteps in my youth a little bit, and I ended up divorced with a really hard, hard heart. And I didn't like anything to do with uh, joy and happiness and jolliness, because I didn't really feel any joy, happiness, or jolliness. Yes, I believed in God and I believed in Christ, but I drifted away from that relationship. I was angry. I was upset at how my life had gone. Now, I think we've all been there and there's been times that our life didn't go exactly how we wanted it to and it made us angry. <laughs> our plans got ruined somehow and it just didn't work out. Well, I've learned that if you live long enough, pretty much your plans are going to get ruined. It's not God's fault. It's probably yours. <laughs> but you see, my hard heart caused me to feel in a very negative way about a lot of things. And I didn't really feel the emotional pull of the holidays anymore. And I didn't really enjoy my life, to be honest with you. I was hard hearted. Those that know me now would say I can't really picture that probably because I cry at sad movies and I have a tender heart for everything. I get all emotional about it. I still am a manly man, but I like butterflies and birds. And as I often say, want to make something of it. <laughs> My point is that Jesus can take a very hard heart, a heart that is full of malice and anger and envy and all of these things, and he can turn that into a soft heart that is touched by the things it ought to be touched by. A tender heart where you think the way that you should when you see something. It makes for a much better life. I was able to let go of my hatred and my anger and my unforgivingness, if that's a word. And I forgave people. And I moved on. And God opened up windows of grace, showed me his glory, and gave me peace. If you're harboring anger towards someone, or you're harboring hatred, or you're just bitter because something didn't go your way, then take it from me. Stop throwing a tantrum. Get over it. That might sound a little harsh, but that's what I had to do. I had to get over it and understand that God is God and people are people and we all have free will and we can do what we want. Some of us choose wisely. Some of us choose poorly. Forgive those who've hurt you. Move on from the circumstances that have caused you to be sad. Press forward and you'll find contentment. Now, I know bad things happen to good people. I understand that. And I know there are certain things that you might not be able to escape, like disease or financial circumstances or just a bad, bad time in your life. I know that. But you know what we will have if we really, really hold on to Christ? We will have the gospel of peace in our hearts and the contentment that only God can bring and a peace that pass all understanding. 
Trust me, I know. I know what it's like to be bitter and angry and furious all the time and negative and hard-hearted. And you know what? It stinks. Let it go. Forgive. Find joy. Move on. Be happy. Get in that relationship with God the way you should. We all need to be reminded of that every single day. Be kind to each other. See you next time.